Morning. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I know. I'm right here. This. Yeah. We can make that happen, buddy. Tab. It's a little lighter. Okay, Miss P. I see you so soon. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm just leaving a hotel here on my way to physical therapy. I opted to get myself a hotel room last night because I just needed to decompress and relax. I just finished the weekend with a, a camping trip out with a bunch of community members there, which was an awesome time. It was a long weekend. It was really nice to get to see people that came last year and meet new people this year. Uh, but if you know me, <laughs> you know I'm basically dead. Well, I'm not so much anymore. I got a good night's sleep last night. I was able to have an Epsom salt bath and just relax. A lot of this, apparently. Just, mm. But yeah, social situations like that drain my battery very fast. But 
like I said, it was a very fun weekend. We got a lot of stuff to like sort of talk about and go over. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things now. So we'll come back and we will grab the good ship Lucky after my physical therapy and to move on with our day. Don't know really know. Don't really know, no, no. Mm. I don't know what it will entail. I probably gotta go to the mailbox, grab some things, and there's a few items I would like to get up around Lucky as well that was uh that were gifted to me at the meetup. So that's kind of what we got in store for today. Just a hopefully relaxing day, easing back in to city van life. Okay, let's go say hi to our friends at the Upa store and try to get over the monotony that was PT today. Be right back. I got it. I got it. How are you? Good, how are you? Not too bad, how was your weekend? Oh, uh, it was silent. Oh yeah? Got a lot of relaxing time. That's good. Good, good, good. How about you? It was a very hectic weekend. I had a big uh, meet up out in Kananaskis, three-day camp trip with a whole bunch of subscribers, so. Ooh. I'm a little tired. <laughs> I got myself a hotel room last night just to recover, so. To relax. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you very much. We'll see you soon. <clears throat> Woo All right, a couple packages whilst we were out of town, but look, more importantly, at this thing. Oh, look at that Westphalia, done up with all the pink, blue, and green. That looks so cool. Such a clean look. Those are, those are very cute little vans. Well done. Oh, it's going to be a beautiful day. And all of the absolute crazies are about to descend on the city of Calgary. It's going to be Stampede Week here soon. And uh, two of those crazies will be my parents. I'm actually hitting the road today and my dad is bringing my mom back here to the city sort of for her birthday, for a trip. They haven't been to the Stampede, obviously, since they moved to BC. So that'll be fun having them in town. There's a whole bunch of running around and get-togethers that I'm sure will be happening. I'm going to do my best to continue to avoid the craziness of the Stampede, but with mom and dad in town. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, I also need to stop and pick up some waterproofing spray for that bear den that I got, that Kuma bear den. That thing came in so handy this weekend and it is so cool. And now that I have it more or less down pat on how to put it away and put it up, because it was a bit of a shit show when the first time I did it. Um, but Lindsay gave me what was left of her little can of uh, waterproofing spray and I hit the roof as best as I could. Uh, and we did get some rain the next morning and that stuff sure does work. It's very frustrating that these tent companies don't just, you know, waterproof the material at the factory. They're all in cahoots, I tell you. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little sick of running into Canadian Tire for all these little things that I keep discovering that I need. So we're, just, we're going to Walmart here. This is not a Walmart I stay at, but it's funny. You'd think I would be sick and tired of going into Walmart. But I'm not, so. Plus, if they have it here, it'd probably be a little bit cheaper than it would be at Canadian Tire. Um, I just hope they have it here. Well, let's find out, shall we? Ooh, another big, impressive-looking rig. Check that out. Where are you from, bud? New York. Wow, you a long way from home. Let's put the Irish Pirate Queen right next to you. Oh, make the turn. We did her. It's a very... Uh, very similar looking van to Carol's who was at the meetup. Hello, darling. Hope you're doing fantastic. It was lovely to meet you. Uh, and now, all right, before we go into Walmart, let's get these couple of packages open. Well, that sounds like candy, but if you could feel the weight, you would know it's, it's probably not candy. It sounds like hardware of some sort. Is this what, what Joe sent? Wait, where's the rip? Yo, Amazon, oh, there it is. Woo, look at all these. Holy Dinah. I'm never gonna have to buy nuts again. I'm pretty sure that came from Joe. Joe sent me an email, yes, from Joe Zizix. Thank you very much, sir. They're a bunch of, um, what did you actually call them? Steel lock nuts, an assortment kit. Anybody need any nuts? Everybody just calm down. Okay, thank you, Joe. That was very kind of you to send that. Oh, 
kind of spilling out. Bloody Amazon drivers, look at that. They're bursting out. There, get. Oh, that's a future Matthew problem. This next one looks like it came from Cam and his Jeep. I deduce this because it says from Cam and his Jeep right on the box, and he's the only one that has figured out how to put his name <laughs> on the shipping label from Amazon. So thank you, Cam, whatever this is. Plus, of course, it's annoying AF. Just kidding, sir. What is, oh, there's two things in here. What do we got? What is this? Ooh. Oh, <laughs> well, that's cool. A mini bike pump by a company called Taiakia. Ta Ta that's pretty cool. Goes at high pressure, 260 PSI. So this is for bike tires. I wonder if it'll work on Lucky. I used to have one that uh, Francis sent years ago that said it went to 150 PSI, but nay, it did not. So that thing got donated. Um, 260, interesting. But it's also just good to have for the bike. So thank you very much, Cam. I appreciate that. And what is this? Uh, Retrospect Lennox Top Tube Adapter. Cam, how did you know? I've always wanted one. The hell is this thing? <laughs> Plastic coated hooks, easy and max bike weight on hanging type Lennox bike racks. Max e bike weight. Use on retrospect. It's something for the bike rack. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna have to reach out to Cam, which at this point I've probably already done. I mean, I guess I could just Google it, but still, thanks, buddy. Is this supposed to just like add reinforcement even more so than the the tailgate uh, thing that we have? The you know the hinges. I just finished editing that video. Well, that's cool. I'll take a look at this later. Cam, thank you so much, sir. I appreciate that, and as well as you, Joe. Let's go nut something. Okay. Don't hit the. The big van. It looks heavy, which is Gennaro once said that means it's expensive. Oh, Canada's catching up with the States. We've got loaded cinnamon toast crunch and Nesquik cereal, but no tricks yet. Hashtag don't do it. You Kellogg's Wednesday cereal? What? Cookies and cream? Well done, Jenna Ortega. <clears throat> Sorry, my squirrel moment for the day. Hmm. Been walking around for a while. I cannot seem to find any of this stuff here under any brand. I think it'd be in the laundry section. You'd be wrong. So we may have to bite the bullet and go back to Canadian Tire. Anyway, we'll find somebody and ask just to be uh Extra sure. Maybe they put it in the fabric section, like the sewing knitting section. It's my last guess. Then we out of here. Oh well, hashtag sad day. Talked to a girl in there, she couldn't find it. I was not in the fabric section either. It's just waterproofing spray from Scotch Guard. Um, last time I ordered it which is for my original awning, which we will talk about later. <laughs> I think I got it off Amazon. Before I go over to Canadian Tire, I am in the same parking lot as Rona, so I'm gonna look them up online. Oh, but also I looked at the bike, this bar thing. It actually is supposed to go on the bike itself, like from the handlebars or whatever to the seat, and it creates a nice solid bar for mounting purposes. So that's cool. I'm hoping it works on Getaway Girl. I still don't have the bike, so we'll have to check that all out, like maybe tomorrow or something. Uh, but again, thank you, Cam. Once I figured that out, I was like, oh. Okay, I gotta look this up. Boom. That's the stuff I was looking for. It was over at Rona. There's a couple different kinds you can get. I remember when I originally did it on my first awning, I got the green bottle, which is heavy duty water repellent. You know, you just spray the whole awning and then it just creates a nice waterproof seal over it. But then I also got some like aerospace 303 spray, which was supposed to be for specifically for UV protection. And I put that on the awning as well. This is the yellow Scotch Guard, and it says water and sun shield. So it was $5 more expensive than the green bottle. So maybe that's just you know, two in one. It very rarely works out that way. But uh, I don't want the Kuma fading or the new mm, awning. Clearly I have feelings about that. Let's get back to Lucky. It's starting to warm up. We don't want a roasted pussy. 
and get on with the rest of our day. Plus, I'm hungry. I need some yogurt in my face hole. Ah, it ain't too bad in here at all. Whoop. This hotel was actually really nice. I haven't stayed in it for years. And it's, uh, it's got a restaurant in it called the Mojave Grill. They actually have steak fajitas on the menu. So of course I had to uh, test those out last night. As good as they were, unfortunately, they don't hold a candle to the fajitas you get at Chili's. The hunt continues. Mmm. Yum. All right. Dishes. Mm -hmm. Done. Now, let's get lucky. Woken up and hitch up the Irish Fire Queen. What do you say, Penny? Nothing. That's actually just a magnet, so that won't be staying on the outside of Lucky, but it obviously was meant to stay with me because, oh my God, I can't remember who gave this to me now, I'm sorry. Um, one of my awesome supporters at the meetup gave this to me and I actually stuck it to the outside of Lucky, so it was like right by the door when I would come in to the van and it survived the entire trip back to Calgary on the highway yesterday, so he's clearly meant to be. It's a very, very, good saying. <laughs> so we'll have to find a more little safer spot for it inside the good ship Lucky. There's also a couple other things that I want to get to. I say a couple. I know of I know of one for sure. But uh, yeah, it's going to get sort of situated here for a moment. Um, I think there's a nap in my future as well. Apparently I'm not 100% recovered yet. Bye-bye world. <laughs> Kick off our kicks. I had to get a new pair of shoes yesterday. Mine got absolutely trashed between the camping trip with Lindsay and the Patreon camping trip. The morning of that last camping trip with Lindsay, I was making pancakes for her and Amber, and I ended up spilling batter all down my leg, all into the shoe. And Amber, to her credit, was very helpful. Her and Lindsay both were like cleaning the shoe out. And then Amber thought it'd be a good idea to put it in front of the diesel heater vent in Lucky to dry it out. Needless to say, the insole got a little, uh, well, effing melted, <laughs> but it was still able to work. But then yesterday, leaving the campsite at the Patreon meetup, torrential downpour, completely soaked. So those shoes are now, uh, well, a little on the yuck side. So I got these ones, which are really nice. They're like this new kind of just like step in, slip on from Skechers. So far, it works great. What are you doing back here? Just hanging out? Hi. I know we got to get this place freaking organized just threw everything on the bed because I know I was going to be in the hotel room last night. I think that's my future to take down. So here's the, here's the wet sucks from aforementioned rainy shoe situation. Had those drying overnight. And yeah, I think that's what it's going to be right now. It's going to be organizing. Come on. 
Like there. Go, go, go. Go. Last little bit. Go. Ha! Ah. Get the tiny home organized, and I'm probably just gonna relax till I gotta get Brooklyn because my dad just texted they're actually gonna be in town tonight, and they were asking what my plans for dinner with Brooklyn are. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So we'll be rested up for that, and then later this evening maybe we'll get to a little a few more things here. One thing I definitely can't wait to talk about um, and show off is this. So this came from Brian, uh, who is another one of my Patreon supporters, obviously, and he had this pirate flag embroidered with a skull and a crossbone on it. And that is some like canvassy quality feeling material there. And even put it on this like piece of, I don't know what, PVC pipe, no it's not PVC, it's, it's good old metal with a clamp and everything. So hopefully we can get that flying. That's in my future on the list of future Matthew problems that will hopefully be solved before the sun sets this evening. For now, I'm gonna rescue Penny from the disaster. Okay, slowly, slowly things are getting organized and a little bit of rest was had, nothing crazy. I also remember that I think, I'm pretty sure it was Sheila, hello darling, that was, uh, that gave me this like crazy cargo net and the intention was like, oh, it can go on your roof. Nay, it cannot. I mean, this is the only space that it would really work in terms of space that I have because back here between these two cupboards, it's too narrow. This is too wide. And if it was here, I'd be hitting my head against whatever might be in it. Another option I suppose would be up in that area, because that's definitely wide enough, both that way and this way. But again, when I'm sitting there cooking, whatever I put in this thing, it's gonna sag a little bit. So I don't think the ceiling is gonna be where this thing ends up. If I do use it, maybe I was kind of brainstorming over here by the big fat pussy. Um, if you notice, maybe I could I could move the switch, remove this net, and then maybe it could just go there as like this big wall storage, and that could work because this thing is it's quite cool. It's kind of it's two pockets. You got this smaller pocket on the front here, which is eh, that wide, right? Put stuff in there and just that small space, like the size of my hand, and then up top. You got a double zipper situation here, but then it's just one big massive net. You know, I think its intention was to go like in a cargo area at the back of like an SUV or whatever, because it's got these clip straps, or maybe it's supposed to like clip to headrests in cars. I don't know. Either way, I don't think it's going to work like that in luck. You would have to modify, maybe cut the straps here and then put self tappers in to mount it up on the wall. And of course my brain started completely just spiraling and I was like well maybe I could even get rid of this and then we have all that space on the wall I don't have to worry about this hitting my head on that anymore but there's a lot of stuff in there that is being stored as you can currently see plus it's the mount for the TV and of course the spot for the emergency stash so I took that cupboard down we'd have to solve all of those new issues right the TV move back to this side and blah 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 so I don't know I do like it it's a nice quality net it feels fairly sturdy um, so maybe it maybe there's a future Matthew problem as well over on that wall um, but right now I don't see myself diving into a project like like that I really should just get this bloody flag on the rack but <sighs> also Sarah Rose gave me well she gave me a whole little gift bag of goodies the least of which was a pack of lucky logger playing cards. So we'll see if they bring me any luck. I do not imagine they will. And I guess this is as good a time as any to show you this. I didn't do any filming at that meetup aside from the crib game with Lindsay, which is right here. <laughs> got it. Oh, yeah, you got it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's actually count the points this time. Uh, oh, it's I am completely <laughs> good. <laughs> 35. Good! Yeah, you're over 100. Oh, oh, no, no, I was over 100 before. I thought you were the No, the 11 is uh, is getting added to something over 100 already because you, you almost double skunked me at... So maybe the game is to beat your score for last year. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, we need to move the goalpost, right? Yeah, yeah right. Move the goalpost. Easier. Shocking. <laughs> it's going very well. 
In other news though, yeah, Sarah Rose also gave me this fancy little mug. It's a, it's a flamingo. They see, right? There's his beak and his head, a sippy cup. If that's not a cup made for live streams, I don't know what is. At this point, I probably already used it on a live stream. But this was the first time I showed it off on the vlog. The more you know. All right, well, I was thinking about maybe moving Lucky into a parkade or something, but it's actually not that hot. So I think I'm just gonna block off the windows and she can stay here whilst the pirate princess and I go visit with her grandparents. But the sun will continue to head in uh, uh, that worldly direction. <laughs> so we better give some protection to the good ship Lucky. Window blocker up here. Oh, and speaking of window blockers, um, because with the time that I'm filming this, my episode where I showed off my So Cozy covers in the back just went live. And actually, the, they reached out to me after the episode because in that, I said, wouldn't it be great if you could order just one window instead of having to get them in pairs? And they reached out to me. They actually called me and said, you can absolutely do that. Um, people just need to ask. Uh, they make a, make a special request when placing an order, which I thought was really cool. So it'd be great if it gets added to the website, but if not, if you're interested in the Sokozy covers and you only need like one and not both for, you know what I mean? Just, just ask. Funny how that works. Needless to say, I will be getting one for my side window as well at some point. And uh, that's pretty darn cool. Where the heck is the other? There it is. And yes, I know you can get them for the rest of all up here, like for the windshield and the side windows and well. And I know that there's there's bug screens and all of that good stuff. Well, apparently now I'm going to need one. I just ripped my Reflectix. <laughs> just, eh, whatever. All in good time, darlings. All in good time. All right. And now it's a lot dimmer in here. Fantastic. I also have to give a huge shout out to Tim over at Unplugged Photography Business. This is one of his new shiny stickers, in case you couldn't tell. He's an awesome dude based out of Vancouver. He's now come two years in a row. Thank you very much, sir. He is a photographer by trade. Hello. And uh, he always does our group photo for us. So thank you very much, sir. I appreciate that. And we got to get your shiny sticker somewhere on Lucky. We'll figure it out. Okay, and pretty much getting ready to go here. And just to point out, it's quite interesting with my curtain closed like this, right? I just have it pinched on the counter here. And then over here, there's actually a Velcro tab right below my very fancy loofah that holds this over there when I need it to. And even with the window blockers up right now, like I said, the sun is right over there beating right on the front of Lucky. And this, like you put your hand in here, it feels muggy. Like, I can only imagine what it would be like without all of this cover. It's crazy. But what's crazier, at least in my opinion, is when you close this, it's actually extremely comfortable back in this area. Like, where I am right now is probably the warmest, and it's still degrees cooler than up in the cab. And I've got this fan on, like, number one setting, pulling air in, and then that one at the back behind Penny there is on, like, three or four and really pulling air. Out. So you get this really nice, really cool breeze right here. I'm only saying this because I always get the question about keeping Penny comfortable. And she's not exactly looking stressed out right now. Now, obviously, it's only like 20 degrees Celsius out, which is this in Fahrenheit. So it's not the hottest that it will ever be. But if that was the case, you know, if it's any hotter, we'd probably be in shade and whatnot. But... This is gonna work out just fine while I go get the Pirate Princess. Also, one more really cool thing I wanted to share. And I won't be able to, uh, I won't be able to get to it today, but Sarah Rose in the bag of goodies that she gave me <laughs> is a nice little customizable piece for Grace. So on the Wranglers, on the driver's side, you've got your trail rated badge right and my willy edition comes with this all black version but sarah rose <laughs> she found this <laughs> which is absolutely amazing so it's fairly simple to remove the badge you just gotta apply some heat and then use like a little you know to, uh trim tool or some fishing line or something and just get it behind the badge and then use some goo gone to remove the uh the residual adhesive and all that stuff so we'll put that on the list of stuff to do we got a lot of stuff to do but yeah i just wanted to share that right now because i thought this is so cool pirate rated four by four in the 
bones is the crotch. It's so cool. Anyway, I'm now realizing I haven't even dropped Grace yet. <sighs> Just one more thing to do. It's all right. Come down here, turn off the power to our blue ox brake controller, unplug it, release it from the brake pedal, slide our seat back, remove the big ass box, and put this in the back seat. Grace is free. Put our power cable and pins in the back, along with our gloves. And we're good to go. Well, we're almost good to go. Oh my God, Grace is full of stuff too. I've got my um, propane fire pit in the back with the big propane bottle. Got to get that dropped off at, uh, at Lindsay's as well. Now I'm getting a phone call. Give me a minute. All right, so get the Jeep started up. And then we get that transfer case back into hi. Oh, wait, maybe foot off the clutch makes it easier. I can never remember. There we go. Good job, Grace. All right, telly freaking ho. And away we go. And actually, I got an email. There's a few more packages at the UPS store. I guess I should have just waited till the end of the day today. Just save myself the multiple trips. That is okay. It is on the way. We will grab the mail. Then we'll get the Pyre Princess. And then I am getting hungry. But it's going to be a few hours still before mom and dad are in town. The last update I got was about an hour ago and they were in Golden. So if you know, you know. Three hours to go. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Three, three packages, one Amazon, two Canada Post. One came from Maxine Shriver uh, in Kings Winford. Kings Winford. And it says it exactly what it is on the package because of the declaration and everything. So we may as well just open this one up now and see exactly what they look like. Let's this, this go around. Be like, oh yes, ooh. Got the little zebra ducky. Like, well, maybe not quite zebra, but he's got, maybe he's like a cow. Ooh, a unicorn one. I'm sure Brooklyn will like that one. And, oh, <laughs> is that a party? Oh, it's an elephant one with a party hat. That's so specific. Thank you, Maxine. I appreciate the, uh, the ducks. I'm sure Brooklyn will be happy to pay them forward. Speaking of which, I am off to get said pirate princess. Why? <sighs> it's telling me to poke it with the key fob. Some people's cars. Hey, you want to see them? Hmm? You want to see the new ducky we got? What's that? Is that a unicorn ducky? You want to hold him? All right. You can, you're going to bring him in with us? That's a good idea. <laughs> I think the pirate princess approves. Can I get a big thumbs up or what? <laughs> hold it out this way. Other way. Yes! <laughs> got a little wet this evening. It was coming down so crazy tonight. Brooklyn and I actually stopped by Lucky before meeting my parents for dinner and closed up the fan just to make sure my bed didn't get soaking wet. It was the kind of, there was hail all along the side of the road. Brooklyn and I were inside doing our own thing when the, when the storm passed by uh, and it was blue skies not too long ago, but now it's, uh, now it looks like it's coming back a bit. It might be a little breezy out here. So I don't know. Ooh cover your mics. I don't know if I'm going to be getting up on Lucky's roof to put that fan on simply because the roof's probably, <clears throat> yeah, just a little damp. Ridiculous. So I guess that's going to remain a future Matthew problem. My plan now is just get the heck out of here and we're going to get hunkered down at Hotel Walmart for the evening. My mom's birthday tomorrow and uh, <laughs> I told her I'd pick her up some lint rollers from Walmart. Everybody just calm down. That's not all I got her. If you're on Patreon, you would know. Hello, darling. Yes, we also fed you when we stopped by, didn't we? How would you? Ooh, it stinks in here. Somebody made their 
good use of their, their pooper, probably. Let's not go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Open this back up. Lock this. Make sure you have your keys before you lock yourself out of your house. Yes. All right. We are all hitched up and ready to go Come around to the driver's side of the good ship. Lucky, yes, I could have just crawled through. My back's a little sore right now. Usually happens after I give my kid a piggyback ride. Ah, huzzah! All right, good ship, Lucky, ready to go. How about you, first mate, Penny? Excellent. All right, and we are all hunkered down. Window blockers back up, house lights on, curtain in the way of the shot. It's just how it happens sometimes. And also, I meant to sh talk about this earlier. Speaking of Patreon, again, you'd know if you would seen the clip. I posted a clip before I left for the weekend, and I was just, I was trying to close the door because I was driving along, and I could hear that there was a draft, right? Like the door wasn't quite shut. Like, it wasn't rattling or anything, but you just know when you close your car door and it's not quite all the way shut, what do you do? You grab your handle, and you give it a little reef. So I do that for in my Patreon clip, just like, oh, hang on, guys. I got to close my door, and, oh, now it's not going to do it. Yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs> it just comes off in my bloody hand. The whole handle. It was quite a funny clip. But yeah, Lucky is really starting to show her age. That is for darn sure. Now, there are little retaining clips on the inside here that will allow this to, like, stay there. But I have to remember that when I'm closing the door now to grab this part because that's the one that still has screws in it. So, yeah, good ship, Lucky, you know. She's just, you know, she's, a, she's been rode hard. Come on now. Uh, but also, oddly enough, on that trip, at one point when I was leaving Bolton Creek to go to the campsite for the meetup, went over a bump and completely lost sound out of this speaker in this door. And then went over another bump at a later point, it came back briefly and then went away again. So right now, Lucky only has music coming out of the passenger door speaker. Uh, so that's another, <clears throat> they're really starting to pile up. Future Matthew problem. So, yeah. And... Well, that's kind of sorted itself out. The window was rolling down weird. I think when this came off, it probably jarred something, Lou, like a wire on the speaker and just kind of came off of the damn thing. I've been meaning to replace the speakers in Lucky since the day I got her, and I'm honestly quite surprised that I haven't done it yet. Anyway, now that we're hunkered down, I'm going to, before the night gets any later, run into Hotel Walmart, do my bathroom run, grab that lint roller for my mom, and then we'll get back here, and uh, yeah, we've got two other packages to open up, so see you in a minute. All right, got everything we might need for tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, that'll be for, well, you know what that was for if you were paying attention. These, of course, are for right now. We're going to come over here to our fridge with its ice maker. We're going to make ourselves some ice. And we're going to pour ourselves a nice adult bevy before we get to some packages. Mm-hmm. Gee, I wonder if this cat treat's in there. That would be funny. Also, oh, this needs to be cleaned up, but whatever. Still kind of smells like somebody's litter in here, even though we just cleaned it. So let's get ourselves an air freshener going. Hey, thank you to Francis for keeping the van smelling lovely. And no, whoever's about to type it, the van's not gonna burn down, for the love of God. Have you never had a candle anywhere in your life? All right, and this looks to be all done. Hey, little ice cubes how are we this evening how about you do me a favor and get in my drink best fridge ever all right oh careful you might like something i like i think i'm gonna have tonight i got a little bit of alcohol from my supporters this weekend <laughs> mm. but i got this bottle of bamboo down here from sheila thank you my dear but it's not open yet, and this is. This came from Jackie. Thank you very much. And what I've learned is that, regrettably, Dead Man's Fingers tends to give me a bit of a headache if I have more than one. So it's perfect for tonight, because we only want one. So nice, healthy, gloopy glub in there. 
with one of these health drinks. Mmm, adult beverage. And away we go. How you doing over there, Penny? Chilling like a villain. <sighs> That'll do. Lufa. Okay, and packages. Okay, one is from Amazon. One looks like it was personally sent from somebody else. I, I, I don't want to see what's in it. Who's it from? This is from Bill Madonna Newhook from... <laughs> Can't censor me. They reside in Dildo, Newfoundland. It's a real place. Look it up. Thank you, Arrogant Worms, for educating this Alberta boy. But first things first. Do we have a from tag in here? Let's be this. Ooh. Oh. This is to help avoid spillage of drinks. Also, it's not a permanent fixture, so it can be moved to different surfaces as needed. From Francis, speak of the devil. The one who is currently making the house smell delicious. Ooh, look at that. It is a table coaster. The ultimate anti-spill drink holder. Well, what the hell is that? For mugs, tumblers, bottles, and cans. Featuring a reusable tacky base. What do you think about that, Penny? She don't give a shit. Tear this bad boy open. No time like the present. That's that girthy. <laughs> so, mm, it's got like an inner ring. Yeah, so you're going to have to remove it. So you got two different sizes here. All right, so here's the, here's, the, here's the main thing. You can take this middle one out, which will make it bigger and will allow you to use mugs for your little cutout for your handle. It says it's got a reusable tacky base. Oh, yeah, it's got a little protector on it. Well, that's kind of funky. Little... Let me see. All right, so you put this in there. Oh, this specific tumbler will not work with this. That's fine. I wonder if my red Yeti mug will. That's better. It's still wobbly. They didn't clearly didn't keep Yeti mugs in mind. But that's cool. You stick it wherever you want. <gasps> oh, I wonder if I could be like my grandpa. I don't drink coffee right now, but my grandpa used to have not like something like this. But I bet you there's some people out there that know that remember these. They were plastic coffee mugs with a base that had like a little neck from the bottom of the mug onto like this round base, right? And then that base was really thin and you could mount little, I guess, holders kind of like this, but they were thin too, which were like circular that would accept that base and then had two plastic tabs. You would slide the mug into that base and it would just be a holder. And then he had, I remember him having them mounted in his cars. This is kind of similar to that. Maybe that's where that's gonna live. I don't know. We shall see. Thank you, Francis. You just triggered a core memory. I appreciate that. Pussy break. Oh. I know. As you do. All right. Let's bring this home with this package from a dildo Newfoundland. <laughs> Oh, how many Americans are losing their minds that they just learned that there's a place called Dildo? Although I'm sure y'all have some crazy named places down there in the States. Let's start something fun tonight, shall we? In the comments, let me know in America or wherever you might live in the world, the weirdest, strangest names of cities, villages, towns, settlements, hamlets, and the like that you are aware of. Oh, a whole bunch of stuff. I wonder, I wonder if Penny was right. Ooh, a new chapeau. Oh, freaking great. This is taking a turn. All right, well, clearly that's what we're wearing tomorrow. Well, so I love that it's in a plastic bag. You gotta keep your dildo merch nice and safe. <laughs> oh man, now we gotta make it like a stretch goal to get lucky all the way to Dildo Newfoundland at some point on this van life plus journey of mine. All this shit says dildo on it. This is hilarious. Look at this, see? What is that, a deck of cards? Uh-oh, well. Lindsay and I got a lot of cards to use now for her to continue to kick my butt with. They are regular looking, but on the back, oh my goodness. Also, here you go. <laughs> a little piece of heaven here on earth. There's a bumper sticker for you. There's the province of Newfoundland pointing right to where Dildo is. Uh, who was thinking this? There's a little Dildo in everybody. There's a million of these. <laughs> it's what is happening right now. We've also got Dildo, just a little place till everyone came. I, I got a postcard. There we go. Dildo Marina in Dildo, Newfoundland. There is the sign telling you where to go. 
and you're almost there, I imagine. We even got, oh my goodness, look at this. It's beer koozie that says dildo on it. My, oh my gosh, what is all this? Okay, hang on. This hat is very tight and cutting off the circulation to my brain. Oh, my dildo was too tight. All right, there we go. Yes, we got a, a koozie. Lovely. And this is just chock full of little dildo goodies. We've got a, oh, that's my first like pin, I think. There's a proper dildo pin. Well, that's gonna have to go right up there with the rest of them. Thank you very much. And we got a mermaid necklace made in dildo. We got a sea glass necklace. This is all made in the same place. Look at that, Nan and Pop's Dildo Souvenir Shop. Souvenir Shop. I had no idea this was the uh, direction the end of this vlog was going to take. I love it. Oh my goodness. Okay, thank you so much. I'm assuming those are probably for not me, the mermaid in the little blue blue necklace there. And oh wow. Oh, thank you. They sent me a, a, v, a prepaid Visa gift card. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you, you guys. And oh, it's the box. It doesn't end. Got even more stuff. Is there a dildo for Penny in here? <laughs> Hang on. We got this. Car parts for kids. Simple as A, B, C. Oh, a little book. Oh, oh, that's cool. Look at this. Oh, from Billy Bob. Thank you so much. Look at that. A is for alternator. B is for battery. We have a new bedtime book. Thank you very much. There's a letter in here that I will, of course, say for myself. Oh, Penny, you, you knew it. You were spot on, darling. Some temptations for the putty tat, along with a puffin. A puffin from Newfoundland, Labrador. That's actually really sweet, you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was very, that was very kind. I'm not gonna give Penny any treats right now. I gave her a, one of those chup chup things earlier. So let's just save the temptations for now. But thank you so much. Oh, that was lots of fun. <clears throat> just a little uh, addendum here or a postscript for this video. I'm reading the letter right now. And it's uh, from Nan and I, Dan and I, Nan and I. Mm. Bill and Madonna, otherwise known as Nan and I. The reason I got all the souvenir stuff is they owned a shop. They own Nan and Pop's Dildo Souvenir Shop. Well, it all makes sense now. All right, second addendum. This is just so good. I'm just I'm going to read the thing. They did, it's very well done, and it, it ex explains a lot of the shenanigans that just went down. <clears throat> Hi Matthew, Nan and I watch your videos regularly and very much enjoy the antics of you and your pirate crew, aka Penny, Brooklyn, Amber, Lindsay, Sadie, and of course the captain, Matthew. Appreciate that. I've traveled back in time and watched your van life journey from the beginning, minus some of the live streams, mainly due to the different time zones and our work schedules. Nan and I both agree Brooklyn is priceless and love it when she says tally freaking ho. You're doing a great job as her dad. Your personality is so close to that of our youngest son that we relate easily to many of your antics. You both bring us many smiles each time we watch. Nan and I have Lucky's Twin, a 2008 GMC extended Savannah van which we hope to build out and do some traveling when we retire. We'd like to get to your side of the country and meet you all someday, but time will tell. For now, we own Nan and Pop's Dildo Souvenir Shop in Dildo, Newfoundland, and wondered what you guys might like that we could offer to show our appreciation for you entertaining us as you do. You watching is more than enough, always is. We hope we've made good choices. For Lucky, there's a lapel pin for the headliner to remind you that you are that you are pleasantly thought of often. <laughs> Which is, see, I, I'm on point for a lot of this stuff. Well, some of it, but thank you. Uh, a local crafter supplies us with different types of jewelry. We thought Brooklyn would like a mermaid necklace and also a Newfoundland puffin. Sea glass comes in many colors, but blue and red are the least common to find. We hope that Sadie enjoys the blue sea glass necklace we've chosen for her. And it says, please advance to level two. And at the top here he wrote, page two, otherwise known as level two. I don't know if my camera's focusing on that. I can't see through my crappy ghost armor screen protector I got. Mm. For Penny, there's a treat which we hope she enjoys as much as you and I enjoy our candy. Mm, fellow sweet tooth. For Matthew, Lindsay, and Amber, there's a bumper sticker each and window stickers as well as a few extra window stickers that you can share with fellow van lifers. Please note all of our stickers have a UV laminate which makes them very weather resistant. And there's some information here. In 2019, Jimmy Kimmel made a big deal of dildo population, approximately 1,000, and gave our community a Hollywood-style hill sign. More info on the... Uh, 
on YouTube's Jimmy Kimmel slash Dildo. So for Matthew, please find a postcard with pictures of Dildo, more on Nan and Pop's Facebook page, a hat to help control your hair, thank you, and playing cards to hopefully help you regain your cribbage title. Fat chance, but we'll give it a shot. A gift card so you can try our version of a pirate drink, Newfie Screech, Newfoundland Screech. I've actually had it before, but not in a while, so now we know what to spend the money on. Uh, a koozie to keep said beverage cold, all sporting the hill sign logo. Ah, note, said beverage may help if the cards don't work as intended. <laughs> uh, last but not least, we've enclosed a signed copy of one of Pop's books he wrote five years ago, illustrated by our... I hadn't gotten this far I, before I decided to roll the camera. Illustrated by our oldest grandson, who was 13 at the time. Matthew, knowing your background, we sincerely hope you and Brooklyn enjoy this book, as many others are doing worldwide. So, did we make good choices? To you all, stay safe, stay well, and keep smiling. Love love you all, Nan and Pop. Also, our tiny parking lot, parking lot borders the ocean, can accommodate three vans at a time, free to boondockers during our closed hours, and fresh water available free of charge. We love to see people visit. And then they give me some clarification that a whole bunch of other people have used the word dildo newfoundland and in, on their new YouTube, youtube channels and it has been a problem so hopefully that is true you nailed it your choices were not only good they were great oh well i'm gonna leave this one here i think and you know i think i'm gonna change things up on the ending here now the dead fish have been going with the flow for a long time and we all know by now don't do that so i think we're going to change and we're going to reiterate and immortalize what is on this adorable little magnet. So, I will say, until the next one, everybody just go out there, be happy, be creative, be yourselves, most importantly, be positive, and remember, you cannot make everyone happy. You're not tacos.